Hello friends, welcome to my channel Web Guru World. So today we will see how can we fix any container in the header or in the footer. So for that I have created one design screen and here you can see we have one container which is called fixed header and after that we have another container which is called as if fixed footer. So we want to we try to fix the, these two elements with their appropriate name means a fixed header will be fixed in the top and fixed footer will be fixed in the bottom okay so how we can do that that we will see steps in a simple steps okay so now but what before proceeding i wanted to tell you that how figma works okay so as you can see mostly designer what they do is they create their design in the auto layout for style okay so like uh, every container they keep it in the auto layout format so that every item if any item delete or add they will be adjusted accordingly okay but now here there is a catch if you wanted to figma header and figma footer will fix in the header and the footer so what we need to do we need to understand how figma behave whenever we try to give any command to figma okay so usually what designers do, they create a design in the auto layout style, okay. It means that all these containers which you see here are like I keep them in the auto, see in the sequence or like auto layout, put the, all the containers here, here in the sequence, okay. So similarly, that is what I also did, like I keep all these uh, items under an auto layout, okay. So, what auto layout is doing here is he is just keeping all the items in the sequence. Okay. So, and now, right now, what I will, I am doing is I am changing the uh, or main design screen to 812 pixel. Okay. Just because I am using this iPhone 13 mini uh, screen size, so height should be according to that so that I will show you how our header and footer will be looks like whenever we run the our prototype okay so that so I defined you that what auto layout did is okay so now we need to understand what Figma will trigger if you wanted to tell him that these two items I wanted to uh, behave as a Head or or fixed header or a fixed footer. So, what Figma required? Figma need that you whatever the item you wanted to keep as a fixed header or a fixed footer, that should be a individual entity identity. Okay, means there should be a free flowing element. So for that, what we need to do is we will remove this auto layout first. First thing is we need we will removing this auto layout. Okay. And after that, I am just putting this one and fifth item with the, which will be to fix data and fix footer. And I am like dragging the, them outside of the frame. Frame means the auto layout where we have all the other elements. And after that, what I am doing is I am resizing this auto layout to according to my viewport and making this as a vertical and after that making it as a clip content okay so that i am just telling the figma that make it as a scrollable thing okay after that coming tar we, we need to target our header and footer so first first of first come first like header how we will fix this header so for that we will tell in the figure of figma that it will be in the top and it will be in the left but for the uh, for the command, we will need to press this align top button and after that we need to go prototype. We need to click on this position and we need to say it will be fixed. Okay. Why I am keeping it as a fixed? Just because right now it is already in the uh, header means uh, G, X, it has like X0 position. Right now it is in the number one position. If the item, this uh, fixed header, Fixed header uh, container in this uh, 
in the sequence of two, then we need to tell him that make this as a sticky means stop at the top edge. But right now it is already in the top, so we don't need to click on this sticky stop at the top. We will tell him fixed stay in the place. Okay, it means Figma will come Figma command this container that fixed the uh, fixed on your position. Okay, and after that we will click on this free five means fixed footer and we will tell him that make always uh, this item should be in the bottom and we will play we will press this bottom button okay and after that we will go to the prototype and tell him that fixed and stay in the place means you will be uh, always in the position where i am keeping you right now okay so after that we can see that we have fixed section we have the scroll section scroll section is already we uh, change it into the so vertical and uh, now let's see that whether our prototype is uh, working fine or not okay so what i'm doing is i'm just pressing the refresh button and i'm now scrolling making a scroll now you can see that our item middle area is scrolling and the header and a footer behaving like a fixed header and fixed footer okay so see here here you can understand that whatever the item you wanted to be fixed in the header and the footer that will be a free or in free and individual identity okay means figo wanted to be keep them uh like you can you can say that figo wanted that these two things will be separate okay and Whatever the item you wanted to be uh, scrollable, keep or keep all those items in the one, uh, in the one bucket. Okay, so that is the catch. So now the let's see, the, let's uh, what we can do here is, or uh, let's suppose, let's suppose if you wanted this uh, fixed header, uh. Uh, will be in the second number like if uh, like it is right now in the first position okay and let's suppose instead of this first position it is after the one item uh, one item so let me keep it uh, change this as a scroll and i am making this as a scale oh, you can keep it as a top and after that i am what i'm doing it i am putting it under the this scrollable frame okay and now you can see this uh, we are here fixed uh, under the fixed uh what you say the fixed item uh not a fixed item fixed uh, uh, bucket we have only this frame 5 which is fixed footer okay so under this scroll uh, bucket we have this frame and under this frame we are keeping this fixed footer in the second position okay so what I will do it, I will move this row to, to top, okay. And after that, we are moving this fixed header to second number, okay. And uh, let's suppose we we have little bit bigger container of first row first item okay and we wanted this uh, fixed header which is right now in a, in a number two let's change it to the row, row number one and we wanted this fixed header uh, comes as a number one okay let's suppose i'm just playing play this and as you can see sorry if i refresh it now you can see the all the items are moving but the fixed footer is as in uh, as in the footer position where it was earlier okay so now to make this fixed header fixed in the top whenever we scrolled it what we need to do we need to tell him that fixed header okay this fixed header we wanted to keep it as a sticky means stop at the top edge okay so now what will happen 
right now it is a right now it is a, an individual entity okay but now it is not in the auto layout format first keep in mind okay and after that uh, let's play this auto layout make a uh, oh sorry no, this prototype i'm just refreshing it again and now I, once i refresh it as you can see the fixed header always stick at the po position whenever uh, scrolls comes to his uh, into the his uh, area okay and whenever we scroll down whenever uh, we scroll past his area he come back to his position okay so you need to understand where whatever the item you wanted to be as a fixed you will need to keep it as a free and individual identity okay so these items and uh, earlier you the the design we created earlier the design we created was we put it as a individual identity just because you keep them as a fixed position always but here the situation is little different for the headers just because we wanted to be in the scroll but whenever we whenever the item uh, reach into the header or uh, like header position it will be fixed so we need this uh, item as a free individual identity but we will command this that uh, please uh, by selecting by selecting the prototype under the position by selecting the sticky stick stop at the top page okay but on the other hand it is right now a free and individual identity just because we are not keeping these items under the auto layout okay so that is the first requirement for both the scenarios okay so that is you need to keep in mind always uh, let's i just wanted to change it uh, this one is the first okay so i just wanted to and i will keep it as a top and the left and the root will be comes after that one two three four so here so two here uh, two things i have covered okay two uh, two scenarios i have covered where we have a fixed header and fixed uh, footer and on the other hand we have fixed footer but a fixed header will be fixed whenever it is reach into the x0 position okay so i hope it will be clear for you that how you can make this fixed header and fixed footer okay let me know if you have any more further more doubts we will try to uh, solve your uh, doubt also okay so kindly uh, share this video with your friends and do subscribe my channel guys i wanted to be reach thousand subscribers count as soon as possible so that we can uh make our figma tutorial community as a big communities and we will guide every designer so that they can increase their knowledge not just in figma we also in the prototype and just uh, protopy i am coming up with the, some cool uh, prototype interaction in the protopy as well so stay with me okay kindly take care uh, till that bye